In this, the first of two part two tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create rich looking charts like the ones you see here. I will guide you through the creation of these three charts which will have selection criteria that will be used for drilling down. In part two of the tutorial, I will then show you how to tie them all together into a single HTML page providing a content rich dashboard with drill downs. The first chart I'm going to create is one that will display the student counts for this year and last year by course. It will also be used as a drill to report so we will need to have selection criteria for the school short name and department. Let's begin by creating that procedure. I'm creating my procedure in the man reporting environment in the folder graphs and charts. Right click on that and say new procedure and we'll call it the student counts by course. We'll click create. Inside our procedure viewer we'll click the advanced graph tool. We'll choose our data source and click OK. We're going to be using gradient colors so we'll turn off the 3D effect. We'll click on the chart selection tab. We'll want to set our, I have a certain size that I want my chart to be. I want it to be 950 pixels wide and a height of 315. So now over here I have my various columns within my data source. And what I want to use is this year student count so as a measure. So I'll drag and drop it to the Y axis and last year's student count. So I'll drag and drop it as well. And I want to measure those by course. So I'll drag and drop course to the X group axis. I'm going to create two filters. So I'm going to click on this filters folder here. I'm going to grab the, the school short name and drop it over here and set that value of what the school short name should be provided via a parameter. And that parameter name will be school short name. And I also want to create another, another slash criteria department. So I'll drag and drop department over there. Change it to a separate where statement. Set it up so it's a parameter as well. And the parameter name is called department. And we'll say OK. So once I have those set, I can style my chart. So I'll click on the chart editor. So the first thing I want to do is set the frame background color of my whole frame to be black. So, so I'll change that to black. I'll click on the frame object of the chart and change the frame color to be black as well. Now over here I have my series. So I have two series. One for this year and one for last year. So by selecting series zero, which is this year, I want to scroll down and find the fill type. So for right now fill type is a color. We'll change it to gradient. We'll tell it we want two color gradient. We want our gradient di direction to go downwards. And the two colors we want to use for this series in our gradients is this blue here and the second one will be black. And on the series one, which is last year's student count, we don't want to display it as a bar chart. I want to display it as a line. So we'll change it to a line. We'll change its color, the fill color, to this bright green. We will change the marker shape from a circle circle to a triangle upwards and then we will change the line width to zero so this way I'll have just a triangle marker on the chart by itself so under the legends now if I click on labels I want to change the label text color from black to a dark gray so it will show up I want to give my chart a title, so we'll click on Chart Titles. 
and we'll change the fill color to the dark gray and we'll give my chart a title we'll call it number of students by course then under the ordinal axis we'll select the general object and we'll set the line border color to a dark gray we'll set click on labels and we will set the show access labels to no under the Y axis we will select the general object and we will set the second line border color which is for the show Y axis line this is the second one here we'll set that to our dark gray we will set the major grid lines color to a dark gray we'll set the labels text color to dark gray as well and then we have this major grid color bands we're going to change the second one make it be 20 20 20 and click OK and we'll make it visible by choosing yes there so now we have our chart pretty much the way we want it to be with our selection criteria so we'll save our chart and if we say run it right here the web focus auto prompt facility is kicking up so it asked me for my school short name and I know it happens to be business and I want all departments so how do I get all departments is by pressing a by a value of folk none and if I say run I now get my chart the size that I wanted it with my this year student counts and last year's student counts so I'll close this and I'll close my chart out and I'll close my procedure out so now I want to right click on my procedure and say copy because it has all of my styling so I'll just want to keep that and I'll paste it I'll click on my new one and I'll say rename and this one will make it by department then I'll double click on the procedure to open up in the procedure viewer double click on my graph object now I want to click on the data selection this one I need to make it the width a little bit smaller so I'll make my width half the size of which is 475 <clears throat> now this one is sorted by courses however the student by course report is expecting two parameters school short name and department so the report needs to be sorted in that order so I'll take school short name and drop it on my y-axis I'll get rid of the course and then this is my department report so I'll drag department as well down so now I have my values by school short name by department now, I don't want to show the school name but I need to have it on my report before I drill down to the next level so we'll say no just don't show it we'll click on my filters and this is already showing it for all departments so we don't need a department where statement and we'll remove that where statement we'll go over to the chart editor and we'll change the chart title so this one is the number of students by department so if I save this and if I run it once again business and hit run I now have a smaller version of my chart by department I need to fix my title there that's a good way to run it and find out things that are wrong so misspelled department here put my T in there 
All right, so let's quit out of this and we'll save our changes. I'll close this procedure. Now on the department one, I'll copy it and paste it. I'll rename that one to student counts by school. I'll double click on the procedure, double click on the graph object, click on the data selection tab. Now this one has the correct size already that I need and it's going to be sorted by school short name so I can get rid of the department. And on this one we don't need any filters so I'll remove the filter I'll click on the chart editor, click on the title and change the title to school. I'll save it. If I run it, I now have my chart with my values for this year, last year. So let me close this and let me close my chart and I've closed my procedure.